Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Hypersonic missiles are at present the weapon that every country wants to have. These missiles are very expensive. For example, the Russian Zikron missile costs around 210 million dollars. However, their speed, maneuverability, lethality and no defense system against them makes it absolute nightmare for adversaries. They can be used on battlefields to destroy the underground targets or even sink the massive aircraft carriers. Such technically advanced missiles have higher penetration and damage as well as greater destructive power. The United States Air Force has started the development and trials of its hypersonic weapons with a Mach 5 speed in March 2022. In August 2021, China has reported to have tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile which was launched from a rocket which carried a hypersonic glide vehicle that flew in lower Earth orbit. India is also catching up with US, China and Russia in the development of hypersonic missiles. In September 2020, DRDO successfully tested a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle HST-DV. It is an unmanned scramjet vehicle with the capability to travel at a speed six times that of sound. In the test conducted by DRDO in 2020, it was able to successfully demonstrate the hypersonic air breathing scramjet technology with flight test of HSTDV. The hypersonic cruise vehicle was launched using a solid rocket motor which took it to an altitude of 30,000 feet in just about 20 to 22 seconds where the aerodynamic heat shields were separated at hypersonic Mach number. The cruise vehicle separated from the launch vehicle and the air intake opened as per the plan. The hypersonic combustion sustained for more than 20 seconds and the cruise vehicle continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of Mach 6 or nearly 2 km per second. In summary, the scramjet engine was flight tested for 20 seconds achieving the speed of Mach 6. Now, as for the latest reports, speaking on the sidelines of the Coimbatore Defence Conclave 2022 at Kumaraguru Institution, Mr. Kailash Kumar Pathak, Director of Futuristic Technology Management under the Defence Ministry, said that high-end hypersonic glide vehicles that can cross Mach 6 and 8 are expected to be developed by 2024 or 2025. Now, as we have reported earlier, the Ministry of Defense has also encouraged private players in the development of hypersonic technologies. On March 11, 2022, the Ministry of Defense has announced 18 major platforms for industry-led design and development under different categories. 14 defense projects have been identified under Make One category, which also includes hypersonic glide vehicle, where MOD will provide the financial support of up to 70% of total cost of prototype development. The hypersonic glide vehicle or HGV and HST-DV are two different technologies. The HST-DV will be powered by a scramjet engine, however HGV are not powered by any engine. HST-DV will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missile HCM. HCMs keep a constant hypersonic speed and usually attitude and are powered over the entire course of their flight by a scramjet engine. In contrast, HGVs are usually launched on top of ballistic missile and often referred to as boost glide system. It then glide back through the atmosphere to their target at hypersonic speeds. Now, as we have also informed earlier that DIDO is planning to conduct another test of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle HST-DV powered by scramjet engine by this year. It has released several tenders for the procurement of various components of its fourth hypersonic technology demonstration vehicle or HS-04 prototype. A similar procurement was also made last year when it was expected for the third HSTD prototype HS03 trial, however, DRDO remained tight-lipped about the third test. 
DRDO has planned to develop two hypersonic cruise missiles based on HSTDB technology. The first one is surface to surface missile with a range of around 2500 kilometers expected to enter service by 2024 or 25. The second one is a smaller and compact version of hypersonic missile with a range around 700 kilometers that can be launched from an aircraft. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.